right, I'm here with Bob Sterling from St. Croix Rods. Bob handles St. Croix for the Canadian market. He joined me here on this recent trip to Minnes Lake with Slate Falls Outposts. And I have them here, so we might as well talk about St. Croix Rods. They're my favorite rods by far. They're the only rods that I use. So let's, uh, I'd like to pick Bob's brain a little bit about the lineup of rods, sort of the history of the company, because there's a pretty unique story behind it. Mike, uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. Lodge is absolutely five star. This is a top rated outpost camp. Got a chance to get a rods bent quite a bit here at this camp. St. Croix very unique in the rod business. It's a family owned business. Three brothers run the factory, sales and the marketing. This is a private company who are now coming up to our 70th anniversary as a rod manufacturer. It's quite a milestone. Uh, by miles the largest rod manufacturer in North America. St. Croix have R&D that is in no one else's rods. Some of the biggest parts of what make our rods different than everyone else's we have things like ART in some of our rods. That's an advanced re reinforcing technology. We also use our own fortified resin systems in some of our rods. Uh, this is really Im important. Um, in previous generations, this would have been called a nano resin. We call ours a fortified resin system. Uh, in most cases, that will improve the rod strength anywhere between 30 and 60 percent. So let's talk a little bit about the, the rods that we used on this trip. So specifically on this trip we were targeting walleye and pike obviously and you had, um, I thought I have a full line of St. Croix rods and some, some Legend Elite jigging rods but let's talk about that jigging rod that you were using because I was pretty much blown away by that stick. I need to get one. <laughs> uh, that is my favorite walleye rod. I've had that rod for four years now. It has caught an awful lot of fish. It's our Legend Tournament Walleye Series 6 foot 3 medium extra fast vertical jig rod. The length is really really nice uh, because you're in a boat and you want to fish vertical you want a, fair, a shorter rod. That's why the 6 foot 3 comes in really handy. The extra fast tip allows you to see the movement on the jig and yet it has a significantly uh, strong butt section which allows you to sting the fish properly. As far as the pike go, um, I know you guys really concentrated on walleye but in order to pull those bigger baits, um, personally I was using a downsizer um, St. Croix muskie stick because we were pulling some big baits, some 9 and 10 inch baits. Um, but you guys did some of that too. Let's talk about those rods that you used for pike. Yes, we uh, while we did concentrate on walleye, pike fishing was certainly in our um, in our gun sights. So when we were trolling, I actually brought something fairly unique. I bought brought one of our Legend Trek casting rods, seven foot six inch, heavy action. Uh, it performed wonderfully well. We trolled with it. Uh, I also cast with it. Uh, that rod is also available in a spinning configuration as well. Tell so, me a little bit about the travel rods that St. Croix has because they interest me and probably anyone that's flying into an outpost camp that probably interests them. We have uh, three series of travel rods. We have our St. Croix Triumph series. They're available in five different actions, right from ultralights through to medium heavies in spinning rods. So you can get a walleye, a trout, and a pike rod in one of those. They retail for around $140. We also, then we would go into our mid-series saltwater configuration, which is called a Tide Master. They're around $200. 50 to 280 dollars. Every action is available in those. They they really convert nicely it from a saltwater application into a northern remote experience rod. And then the cream of the cream that we had was that Legend Trek. 
We built that rod for one specific purpose. That was for people that were doing exotic trips that required a multiple piece rod because of the travel configurations and restrictions that would perform like a one piece rod and provide the durability that a one piece rod provides. Bob, I have to thank you uh, for, for joining me on this trip. It was really one of the all time best trips ever. And uh, I would assume, I'm pretty positive at some point we're gonna do it again. Thank you, sir. Mike, I appreciate it and uh, we will do it again for sure. All right, buddy. Thank you.